It's flippin' Friday. I am back with another What Sold video of what I sold on eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, and they added in a couple of my Facebook Marketplace sales, so stick around to see what I sold this past week. Hey guys, my name is Heather. I am a full-time reseller. I sell on sites like Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, ThreadUp, The Real Real, Facebook Marketplace, Instagram, basically anywhere you can think of. I am a full-time homeschool mom as well, although my kids are pretty independent and I am a volleyball coach, I'm a volleyball player, and I'm obsessed with Disney. If you are a previous subscriber, thank you for coming back to check out my video. If you are new, thank you for checking me out. I am currently um, just continuing to get my YouTube subscriber count up and I am moving toward 300 and that's my next goal. So that's been really fun to be getting new subscribers and interacting with you guys in the comments and things like that. Um, I'm trying to do a better job about responding to those as quick as I can. So like I said, I'm going to go over my sales. I do a um, what sold video every Friday, flipping Friday, I call it, and let you know kind of what I've been selling. I usually just do it on my three main platforms, which are Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay. But I did add in Facebook Marketplace this week since it is um, a new platform that I have added. And so I thought it would be fun to add that in. Eventually it would be good, I think, and kind of nice to let you guys know like everything. Um, but thread up sometimes is hard. I sometimes I forget to check it every day. And I don't know, I feel like I have a hard time seeing what date it's sold on. So anyway, if I can remember, I'll add in the other one. So let's just go ahead and get started. Um, Facebook Marketplace, like I said, I've just started selling on there. You can include shipping. Some people think it's only for local pickup, but actually everything I've sold on there has been shipped to somewhere else in the United States. So um, Definitely something, sorry, I thought I heard something. Definitely something good to be checking out. And um, you can put where you can accept offers. You don't accept offers. You just choose the weight for shipping. It's super easy. They give you the label. Um, so yeah, I'd recommend selling on there. The first thing I sold were these Nike men's lunar black shoes. They were um, actually sitting around for a while. I think I put them on eBay auction a few months back and they never sold. So I ended up listing them, I think for 30, but they sold for $25 on Marketplace. And so I got those shipped out. And then the next thing was a pair of Dansko gray, like nursing comfort clogs. These sold for my full asking price on there of $35. And um, I'm not offering free shipping on Marketplace. The buyer is paying for the shipping. And then the other thing I sold was this Anthropology Puella gray and white striped dress. I just picked this up at a Goodwill, I think. Or was it Play-Dohs? I don't know. Either way, I just picked it up and that sold for $25 as well. So those were a few sales I sold on Marketplace this week. Um, it's really easy when I do everything on my phone and I do everything like talk text. So I always list on eBay first. I talk text as much as I can because that's just faster for me. And then for my description, I just copy and then I just paste it on my three other platforms that I list on. And it actually doesn't take that much time. Um, people have asked me if I use any cross-posting service and for now I don't I don't like to pay for anything extra if it doesn't really benefit me and I don't mind taking an extra minute or two to cross-post everything so no big deal for that so let's go ahead and start on Poshmark I I felt like I didn't have a great sales week but then I started writing down all my sales and I'm like okay actually I think I did <laughs> it was way better than I thought so Anyway, the first one was a bundle of this American Eagle. It was a camo crop hoodie. I picked this up at a Plato's Closet sale recently. I don't usually pick up American Eagle, but it was super soft, really cute style, great condition. And then also it sold with a pair of Victoria's Secret Sport white shimmer leggings, which is also something I picked up at the Plato's clearance hall. This sold for $45. And yeah, that was my only bundle this week. I don't seem to sell bundles too much. I don't know why that is, but that's okay. The next was a pair of Ugg Brown Classic Short Boots. These I just got up in one of my Thread Up Rescue boxes, the shoe one. And it sold really fast. I had them listed for 50. Actually, did I have them listed for 50 or 45? I might have had them listed for 50 and I offered the person 45 and they accepted it. It sold like within a day. So that was really exciting. I mean, after the profits come out, I think, I don't remember what it is on 45. But 38 maybe? Either way, um, it's a really good chunk for what I actually paid for those shoes. And I've already sold a couple of other of the smaller, like, um, not smaller, but lower price shoes as well. So I feel like I'm really close to being even 
where everything else I sell will just be profit. Next was a pair of vintage Levi's 550. They were actually little kids jeans. They were a boy size four. I didn't notice until I got them home that they had some spots in the back. I didn't even feel like messing with trying to stain treat it and get them off. So I just put it in the listing. I solicited them for 20. Someone offered me 14 within like two minutes. So I just went ahead and took that. Maybe I could have had them higher being they were vintage Levi's for kids, but I don't really care because I paid like two bucks for them and it was a really quick flip. So I always will take less money for quick flips. The next was a Victoria's Secret bra. It was like a maroon lace color in a size 34F. I think it was actually Victoria's Secret pink, which I don't pick it up as much, but the size was really big. So that, um, not, I guess that's not really big, 34. The cup size, I guess you should say. Um, so that just made it a little more maybe unique or desirable. And that sold for $20. Next were a pair of Nike Pro Hyper Warm Black Leggings. These I only had for about a week. Someone offered me 22. I had them listed for 30. So I went ahead and took that. And then I had this solid and stripe uh, bikini bottom. This was one of the swimsuit pieces that I had picked up on this dollar clearance sale from the store. So, I mean, I still made money, but I probably wouldn't do it again unless it was like maybe more basic colors, but even my basic colors are sitting. I don't know. Swimsuits are hard for me to decide. Like one pieces, I feel like I'm, I feel like are easier to sell. Um, next was an Oakley gray long sleeve men's shirt. It was a dark um, gray color, long sleeve button up. I asked my brother if he wanted to sell it. He says he doesn't seem to have luck selling those on eBay. I listed it for 25 on Poshmark and someone offered me $20. Paid $3.59, so that's great profit. The next was a Bowdoin Ariana blue dress. This has a dress that had pockets. I believe it was in a size 10 tall, which made it a little bit more desirable, and that sold for $30. And then I sold this vintage Gap coat. This was reversible with like a fleecy side and then like a nylon side. It was pink and green. I had this for probably four to five months, but I did, I had it listed more expensive at first just because I had no clue. Vintage is hard to know what to comp it at sometimes because if you can't find the exact piece, you kind of just have to go off maybe your gut or maybe similar pieces. Um, but it did sell for $35, which is still good. Um, and then I think this was my highest sale. Actually, I know for sure it was. It was this Longchamp um, leather purse. It was blue and red and a crossbody. I had it listed for $250 originally i had dropped it maybe a couple of times for closet clear out and then someone offered me 190 so yes i went ahead and took that i picked that up for 50 dollars at a consignment store um you know 50 dollars is a lot to pay but i did look it up before i purchased it just to see and i saw the similar ones were selling on ebay for like 150 to 200 so that's worth it to me obviously to pay 50 but then sell it for 190 so that was a really great sale. Um, the next thing I sold was this Cacique um, gray bra. It was a plus size spell out on the straps and I'm possibly down here in the band, but I'm not sure. Really weird thing with this though. If you follow me on Instagram, you might've saw the funny comments. I had shipped it out, I think Tuesday, late afternoon. So the mailman might've scanned it Tuesday night, but I'm not sure. Wednesday, she already rated me, but she rated me one star saying I didn't receive my item yet or something like that. And I'm like, why did you rate me if you didn't get it? And so then Thursday, she commented on it again. I still haven't received my item. And so I'm like, mm, like I'm trying to be nice, good customer service or whatever. But I'm just like, oh my gosh, what? So I just let her know. I just shipped it out Tuesday afternoon. It should be arriving soon. Like, I hope she changes her feedback. But honestly, I still get paid for it. I don't know. <laughs> Like I'm not the type of person to freak out and like I have to have an average five star selling or whatever like that because I'm going to get my money either way. Um, obviously, I don't want to just do a crappy job, but I do not stress about crappy ratings. In fact, I hardly ever look at them just because it's not something that necessarily I feel like I need to spend my time doing. Um, so anyway, it sold for 15. Hopefully nothing weird happens when she gets it like some kind of weird return case or something. Um, next were a pair of Allbirds men's wool shoes. You know, I thought these would go for more, but they sat for a really long time and someone finally offered me 20 bucks. So I just went ahead and took it just to get them out of my house. The next thing I sold was this coach pleated black purse. This came in one of my thread up rescue boxes. I think it was actually the coach rescue box. Um, I've gotten pretty good ones so far. And so I've been looking every day looking for more. I really like doing those. Let me know below if you guys have done any of the rescue boxes and what you think of them. 
Um, but I saw, after I just said I don't check ratings, but I happened to see this lady's rating. Um, and she said it was in like new condition. She was really in love with it. So that was good. And I, so I was glad I was able to get that out. And I did sell that for $70. So I paid $90 for that coach box. So that was really good already. I don't know if I've sold any of the other ones. I'm trying to think, but I might, I don't know. I have a horrible memory. I have a horrible memory either way. Great sale. Okay. Next was a pair of J crew gold pointed toe slingback flats. These were in a size five and a half. So a very small size. They still sold for $20. They were in great condition and just a really cute style and a really cute color. And then I sold these Kalia Carrie Underwood pair of pants. They were just a straight leg style, but they were new with tags. And I think I only paid my normal $3.59 for those, what my Goodwill charges for pants. And someone came in and bought them full out price for $35. Next was these Ann Taylor leather front pants. I don't know, it might've been faux leather actually, um, just like paneled on the front. I think I got these a long time ago when people were giving me free inventory when like COVID was first around bad. Um, and so I sold them for 20 bucks. So that's all profit. So that's great. And then I sold this pair of J Jill kick flare jeans. These were new with tags from a Marshall's or a TJ Maxx or something, but a long time ago, like I paid really, really cheap for them, like under $5, but they've been sitting forever and I regret it. <laughs> you know, when you have things like that, where it's like, it's so cheap. And so you just get it, but then you regret it because it's like, it takes forever to sell. So anyway, they were in a size too petite. Someone offered me $18. So I just went ahead and took that. I mean, basically I would take any offer on these right now, as long as I'm not losing money just to get them out of my house. Next was a pair of new with tag stitch fix, um, DL 1961 LED pants. They were white and they had all kinds of dirtiness on the bottom of them. Cause I was like in a rush that day, I guess. And I didn't check over them and I didn't want to clean them because they, well, I mean, I tried to clean them like myself without putting them through the wash because they were new with tags. And I just couldn't get it, so I disclosed it. And I had these for a super long time, too. I'm having a hard time moving white jeans. Someone offered me 14, so I went ahead and took that. Next was a pair of Athleta plie leggings. I just picked these up recently. I think they were like a gray or black with a blue um, on the bottom. And they sold pretty quickly for $35. And then next I sold this Anthropology Postmark gray and white striped tie front top. That sold for $21. And then I sold these Cole Haan heels. These were like a black leather round toe heel. Cole Haan doesn't do super great for me anymore. I'll still pick it up if it's a cute style and cheap, but um, I don't expect to get too much out of them. And those sold for $22. And then I sold this Marmot Men's um, Dry Climate Black Zip Up Jacket, and this sold for $20. The next thing was a pair of Big Star Bella Flare Jeans. I don't actually know why I got these because I don't hardly ever pick up that brand. Uh, they might have been cheap or something. I don't know. So I sold them for $18, which is still fine, but I'm just confused as to why I picked those up. Next was a pair of American Eagle super skinny jeans. They were distressed. I think they were in a size six. They sold for my full asking price of $30. And then I sold this Gymshark teal sports bra. This sold for $15. Next was a new with tags J crew green square neck, like career style top. Um, this I had for a little while, but I picked it up cause it was new and I sold for $20. And then the last thing I sold on Poshmark were a pair of Prana Grace slim gray sweatpants. So they kind of were a jogger style where they gathered at the bottom and those sold for $18. So that was it for Poshmark. Um, let's move on to Mercari. Mercari is still doing good for me. Like each week I feel like I sell, I'm selling the same or in fact a little bit more. So I don't know what's happening. With some of the things I feel like I am pricing it really close to the lowest amount I would take. So I don't know if that's helping or what, but the first thing was this Tory Green Chalice um, lace inset top. It was in a plus size 2X I think and it sold for $20. And then I sold this Dunian Burke bag. I actually just got this in a Thread Up Rescue hand box, but it was not great. If you saw that video, it was just a really old, outdated style. It wasn't in the best condition. Um, someone offered me 19. I had it listed for 25. So I just went ahead and took that because honestly, I was like, Ooh, that could be hard to move. So I was glad to just got it in my house, get it back out really quickly. Um, and then I sold this mountain hardware black zip up jacket. It was in a women's size extra large, I believe. And it sold for $25. The next thing I sold were these Nike power tights. They were a black high rise legging. So I don't pick up all Nike leggings, but the quality of these I could tell were um, just thicker, just felt nicer. 
I had them listed for 50 originally. Someone commented, actually it was the same buyer that bought these. She asked a while ago, if, can you put them down to 45 and I'll buy it right away? And I'm like, sure. And then she never did anything. <laughs> but then like a few days later, she came back and offered me 40 and I'm like, you know what? I just take it because that's still great. So I sold those for $40. And then I sold these Lucky Brand black leather zip up booties, ankle booties. Um, I actually wore these a few times and I thought about keeping them because they were my size and they were really cute, but someone offered me 40 bucks. So I'm like, you know what? That's fine. Go ahead. I'll just wear another pair of shoes that I'm selling. I actually, I don't wear shoes like that, like maybe once a week to church or if I go out on a date night, but it's still not very often. Um, I wear a lot of tennis shoes mostly. Um, the next thing I sold on Mercari was the other Nike LeBron James shoe that I got in the men's Thread Up Rescue box. So this was the weird thing. If you didn't watch that, I got two pairs of shoes and they were both right feet. And they were, one was nine and a half and one was size nine. So this one, I just saw, I think, I'll have to double check when I get it with the video, but I think I saw a notification come through that they accepted the shoe and I can rate the buyer, which is great because the other one, the buyer is opening a return case saying you only put in one shoe. And so I messaged him and I was nice about it, but I just said it was clearly in the title, amputee, sh amputee shoe only, one shoe. The whole, all the pictures were one shoe in the description, one shoe only, amputees. So he's like, oh yeah, honestly, that was my mistake. But I put in, like I could send a message to Mercari when the case was opened. And I just said, you know, based on your um, return policy, they shouldn't be able to return if something was described like it, like, like it was, but you know what I mean? Like I didn't mess anything up in my description. He just didn't read it. So they're taking a really long time. So they would respond in one to two days, but they still haven't responded. And it's been since Sunday, I think. So I might message them again and see what's going on with that because actually that's been a really long time. Um, they shouldn't side with them. They should side with me. So we'll see. Anyway, did I say those sold for $55? I mean that, that one shoe sold for $55. So that was amazing. Um, and then the next thing I sold were these Ann Taylor boots. I just also picked these up in a thread up rescue box shoe box. So if you haven't noticed a lot of my sales coming from those thread up rescue boxes, which is great. These were actually an outdated style. I felt like they were suede, like knee high zip up boots. I listed them really low. Someone offered me 16. So that's what I've been doing with the things that come to me that are either not very valuable or they're outdated. I'm listing them really low just to move them quickly. So anyway, yes, yeah, sold those for 16. Next was a pair of Nike Zoom Pegasus shoes. I also got these in a thread up box recently. They kind of had a little bit of wear and up by the shoelaces, it was like a kind of like a torn part. So again, listed them for 25, someone offered me 20. I went ahead and took that. The next was a pair of Allegria Black Clogs. So Allegria is a good comfort shoe brand. And actually I feel like I sell them a lot on Mercari and my daughter does too. She sold a couple pair and they seem to do well on Mercari. So if you have any of those, make sure you cross post them over to there. Those sold for $40. Next was another thing from my Thread Up Rescue box, the handbag designer purse. It was a Rebecca Minkoff. It was the mini Mac leather crossbody with the chain that sold for $40. And then I sold this Athleta Cozy Karma. It was a beige um, zip up hooded sweatshirt that sold for $30. I sold these vintage Oshkosh Bagash pink corduroy like footy overalls for babies. They were so cute and I sold them for $22. Um, this was a pair of shoes from the Thread Up Rescue Box. Are you getting tired of hearing that yet? <laughs> um, I have no clue of the brand. I looked it up. They weren't selling for like anything anywhere. It was B-E-B-E-C-E. -E -E. I don't know what they were, but I listed them. Someone offered me 15 and I just took it because, I mean, like I said, I couldn't find hardly any sold comps. Does that mean they could have been good? I don't know. So, I mean, a couple people sold them, but it was like really cheap. So, whatever. At least I'm not storing them. And then the last thing I sold on Mercari was a pair of Newest Tags Can Can Francis Mid-Rise Dark Wash Skinny Jeans and those sold for $28. Whew, okay, 20 minutes. That's not too bad. Let's move on to eBay. Um, the first thing I sold on eBay were a pair of Under Armour black Lynx pants. They were a women's, possibly a golf style pant. Um, and they sold for my full asking price of $25.88. And then I sold a pair of lid. I can't talk. I sold a pair of vintage Levi's 550. They were a high rise mom jean, tapered leg, all of that. They sold for $35. 
I sold another pair of these same Under Armour pants. Actually, at the thrift store, there were two of them exactly the same right by each other. But when I got home, I noticed that they were worn out on the knees. And so I listed them lower than I would have. I was actually surprised the one pair sold for $25.88 with the wear. Um, this was the first pair. Someone offered me $15 earlier in the week. And so I took that because of the wear. And then the next like day or something, somebody came back and bought the other pair for full price. So that was good. Um, next was the Calypso St. Barth. It was a white v-neck tunic top and that sold for my full asking price of $35.88 and then I sold this new Lily Pulitzer black linen open cardigan sweater for $50. I sold this free people pink long sleeve scoop neck top. This um, was listed for $20.88. I sent the buyer an offer of $18 because it was a washer I think and she messaged me back and said I can't accept the offer can you lower it and then I went in to lower it and it had a little lock symbol and I couldn't lower it. I'm like, I don't know what to do. And then she just bought it for $20.88. So that was good. Next was a Spiritual Gangster gray zip-up hoodie. I just picked this up at a thrift store recently. Someone offered me $28 and I went ahead and took that. Very fast flip. Um, another fast flip is the Barefoot Dreams cardigan, which I just picked up. It was in a navy, maybe it wasn't navy, maybe it was black. Um, cardigan sweater. I had it listed, I think, for 45 maybe and they offered me 36 and but it was like within minutes of me listing it so I just went ahead and took that because again really fast flips um next was a mountain hardware I think it was this black fuzzy zip up jacket for $25 yes and this also had a weird buyer again if you follow me on Instagram you probably saw this in my stories um I don't know she asked me a couple questions about it then she bought it then she said something about, can you cancel this? My daughter accidentally purchased it on my card. And then one minute later, never mind, I'll keep it for myself. And then again, accidental purchase. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I'm like, you know what? I already, already shipped it. I'm like, lady, oh my gosh. So I hope there's no weird like return thing. Try to get open or something on that. Next was a pair of, um, actually it was a lot of three Levi shorts. I actually bought all these for my daughter because in the summer she was looking for some denim shorts that were... A little bit longer um, and a little bit more modest and she actually didn't like this style they were not high rise enough for her so I sold them all together for $30 and then next was this pair of men's Levi's 517 jeans these were in a men's thread up rescue box I think they weren't in the best condition and so I sold them for $15 uh, 1588 I guess was the price that I listed them for um, next was a pair of Nike Nike youth skate shoes I had these for a long time. I put them on eBay auction a couple times. Nobody bid on them. Some were offered me 12. So I went ahead and took that. Um, next was a pair of Dansko boots, which I actually didn't want to sell for this cheap. I sold them for $22. But what had happened is I had put all of my shoes on 35% off because I had a lot of shoes. As you can see, they're like sp sp piling up. And over here, I have a bunch of like athletic shoes and an old toy box. And I didn't think it would put that on my new shoes that I listed, but it was. And so it sold super fast for 35% off. So I only sold it for $22, but oh well, whatever. I guess they sold fast. Next was the St. John Blue Santana Knit Cardigan Sweater, and this sold for $45. And here's another of the 35% off shoe sale. It was a pair of Minnetonka slippers. These only sold for $14. But like I said, I guess that's why I have sales to move things out, even if it's for less than I originally wanted. Next was the newest tag, Harley Davidson black top. This I had picked up at a like um, clearance store a while ago for 10 bucks and it sold for $40.88, which was my full asking price. And then I sold these vintage Levi's 555 guy fit jeans was actually the name of them, which I haven't heard of as much as like the 550s or the 501s. And those sold for $45. So that was a great sale. I sold this new without tag soft surroundings navy blue dress for $25. Almost done. Um, this was a pair of new Nike Tailwind sneakers. I picked these up at a Ross recently for I think around 20 bucks. I had them listed higher. They bought them during my 35% off sale, which was fine. So I sold them for $65.57. And then I sold a pair of new Sorel plum colored sneakers. I picked these up maybe three to four months ago and those sold for $65. I sold these pair of rag and bone black leather boots. I actually had these for a really long time. I'm having a hard time selling rag and bone shoes or boots. I don't know about you guys. Let me know how you do with that brand. They only sold for $24, but I had them so long. I just wanted to get rid of them. 
Next was a Chaps Ralph Lauren Southwestern Long Sleeve Shirt. So I only pick up this brand. I feel like if it's got that Southwestern pattern, that's what does better for me. So I went ahead and got that and it sold for $22 quickly. And the last thing I sold on eBay was this Cabby Collage Jacket. I had this for quite a while and I actually forgot, like I lower prices on Poshmark pretty decently, but I always forget to lower them on eBay. And I never did. And it was still at the asking price of $70.88, but someone came in and bought it at that. So I priced it at that because comps were showing that it had sold for that a few times before. So that was kind of a shock, but a good surprise. So that was all my sales. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe button with the little bell next to it if you haven't yet to see what else I have coming up this week. I'm going to be stocking the ThreadUp website because I love these rescue boxes, hoping to get more. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.